Hello everybody, it's Jess here from Meadows Flowers. Now, it might look glorious and sunny out here today, but on this our little artisan cut flower farm and studio florist, we're actually nearly towards the end of October. So, given that it's a nice day, it's a bit chilly, I've got my coat on, but given it's a lovely day, I thought it's time to start one of those jobs that I've been putting off, and that is to start mossing up our wreath rings ready for Christmas. Let's not say it too loudly. Christmas is coming. <gasps> so really busy time of year for everybody involved in the floristry industry. Um, and one of the jobs we can do well in advance and it's worth getting started now is to actually do a traditional moss bath for our wreaths. And then these will live outside quite happily until we need to put the foliage in in the run up to Christmas. So what do we need? We need a wreath ring. Now these come in all sorts of different sizes. This is a little diddy one, this is an 8 inch one. And I have 8, 10, 12, all the way up to the big daddies at 14 inch. Now this isn't going to be the size of your finished wreath. Depending on how much foliage you put out, this is going to end up, you know, yay big. An 8 inch is going to end up plenty big enough for most people's front doors. And I did a lot of 14 inch last year. They were quite ridiculous. They end up being a really big dadder of a wreath. So I'll show you on a little eight inch one what we're gonna do. So we need a wreath ring. We need some real wire. And that uh, this is just um, literally wire on a reel. And then we need some moss. So when we buy moss, we buy a bag of moss like this. So this is Welsh moss. Got the Welsh dragon on it, glues in the, in the thing. Um, and we don't actually need that much moss. I'll probably get 10, maybe 15, 18 drinks out of one bag of moss there. So, I'm going to take some old moss out and just give it a bit of a fluff up on the table because it comes and it's all compacted. And actually, I don't need this all compacted, I can actually have it quite loose. It's going to blow everywhere because it is a windy day. But tell that I'll do it in the kitchen and I'm going to get a child off doing this in the kitchen. So there might even be enough here for this little 8 inch, eight inch ring. So fluff the moss up. I've now got my real wire and I'm going to attach my real wire onto the inside of my frame. So literally I'm going to take my real wire and I'm just going to twist it round and just go, I'm going to go round once just to anchor it. So I've got my real wire on my moss. face of my ring and very easily sausage and I'm just going to wrap it as you can hear everything's blowing over wrap it around my ring just once and then oh god my moss is gone I'll get some more moss in a minute get my next bit of moss sausage in my ring and again just going to come round like that like once you know what I say we're in a really windy part of the country guess what we are. It's blowing a hoolie out here, even though actually it is a very nice day. So I'm just going to keep taking my sausages of my moss, going around my wreath ring, just fairly loosely to start with. Amazing to see what I'm doing, my hair blowing in my face. I just come loosely around my little wreath ring. Leave that at the top of the bag because it looks like it's going to disappear on me. And again. I'm showing you on this little one because it should be quite nice and quick to do. So again, we're just wrapping it loosely around our wreath ring. We're nearly there actually, if you look, we're nearly there all the way around our ring. So I'm just going to come round our ring. I tend to go from the back over and in. It doesn't really matter, you find your own rhythm with it. And then we should have loosely started to form our ring so now now I'm going to pull it a bit tighter so you're now going to go quite close together at about half inch so a couple of centimeters apart segments and again it's going to come from the inside up and over the outside I'm going to do this in quite a nice little tight pattern as you'll see we're just coming round and we're starting to form a neat wreath now yeah, this one looks dinky 
what I'll do when we actually get round to um, doing these finally I will show you what they look like when they've been done so nearly there with this one and this is quite dry I've not pre-wet my moss I tend not to bother because we're in a really high rainfall area up here and I'm not going to need these for another probably month or six weeks I just leave them outside if it's not going to rain I give them a quick spray with a hose pipe if it's going to rain leave them outside let them get wet moss is a living a breathing creature so we've now got our ring mossed up and we just need to finish it off so I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to cut my wire try and use these oasis scissors with a wire cutter on them or a wire cutter don't ruin your best scissors cut it and then I'm just going to hook this in back into the moss itself there we go so that's nice and secure the only thing I could do if I wanted to do that so I'll we'll give him a bit of a haircut so I'm just going to trim him around make him a little bit neater just neaten him up a bit you will get bugs in your moss don't worry about it you may get some worms you may get some spiders it's a living breathing product so there we go there is a little dinky eight inch um wreath ring all mossed up ready for christmas all i'm going to do with this now is get the hose pipe give it a water and work my way through the rest of my pile of rings so as always if you like what you see hit the like button if you want to hear more about my little adventures here in a windy not so cold today but flipping windy artisan cut flower farm and florist studio in mid staffordshire hit the bell to subscribe to my channel visit my website at meadowsflowers.co.uk why not come on one of our wreath workshops they're happening up till christmas and i'll give you one of these and teach you how to take it from there anyway as always been lovely to see you i'm jess from meadows flowers and we'll speak soon Bye bye